Hello friends and welcome to my very first YouTube video. In this video, I talk with Lisa Connell and Stefano Papalardo from GCN about the making of PRISM, the LGBT plus digital exhibition. In the video, we talk about the process behind it, some of the technical things that went on in the development, including the transitions, the structure of the website, I also talk a little bit about the anxiety that I was dealing with in 2020 and how a project like PRISM helped me to get over it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, here's the video. We're really excited to present PRISM, an exciting new digital exhibition that tells the story so far for GCN, picks up where proof, 30 years of GCN, our 30th anniversary, left off, and also tells the story from then until now. So please check it out. Hi, my name is Aidan Quigley and I'm the designer and developer behind PRISM, the GCN digital exhibition. What was it like in Ireland before the lockdown? There was a sense of anticipation. The streets were eerily quiet, usually they're filled with cars and traffic and people, and it was empty. There was this real fear that even going to the supermarket to pick up groceries would put you at risk of contracting this virus. The pandemic had a quite seismic effect on GCN as an organization and as a media outlet. Um, for only the second time in our print history, we had to pause on the print publication. Um, and very quickly, we realized to continue uh, providing our vital service to our LGBT community, we moved all our energy and our efforts online. We already had a fairly significant and broad range of digital services to offer to our community, but the pandemic really allowed us to hone in on the digital channels and utilize them as, as efficiently and as effectively as possible in order to connect our community in this sort of really intense time. Just before Ireland went into lockdown, we started kind of like talking about what we could do, should we have to pause the magazine. That's when we came up with a lot of new digital initiatives and things to do online to keep our community connected uh, as the country was going into lockdown and also to uplift the community. I was already in contact with GCN about the possibility of working together on something. I reached out to them during the lockdown and approached them with the idea to do a digital exhibition. PRISM was born out of, uh, I think, Aidan's understanding that there was such a wealth of, uh, of, of content that had only really been seen for maybe a moment in real life because the proof exhibition, which is some of the kind of core content for PRISM, only lived in real life in the gallery of photography for two weeks during GCN's 30th birthday celebrations. So it was really born out of a sense of Aiden's understanding that there's just a lot of really great content for the community that was just sitting in a Dropbox. The idea behind PRISM was to digitize all the amazing work that we all did to put together their exhibition and also expand it. So my role in the project was strategy, design and development. I created the overall strategy for the website, crafted a site structure that would allow me to make use of what they had from proof but also to showcase what they've been doing in the two years since then and all of the great initiatives that they do. Prism took a lot longer to complete than I would have hoped. I had anticipated being able to do it within just over a month it ended up taking almost two months. It was the end of July, the 31st of July, that it went live. The timeline had to be changed around quite dramatically um, for a variety of reasons. But again, Aidan was able to respond to that and work with us in a scaled way. So we, you know, acknowledging that actually if we wanted to put 
all of the good stuff out there would take, it would be, you know, a six month project. Apart from designing and developing the website, I also created visual graphics, I created scroll interaction animations, I created a GCN logo reveal video. There was actually a lot involved in the design and development of the website as well as project management and client communication. I really wanted to make sure that when I was putting this project out into the world, I was putting something out that I would be proud to put my name on. And I am proud to put my name on it. One of my favorite aspects of uh, PRISM is it's dynamism, it's very, it's a very exciting user experience. So I've been enjoying really going through all the sections and I think that the way the content has been brought to life for a digital landscape is really great. It really does justice to all, the, all of that information and all of that beautiful work because, you know, even small campaigns that are featured on the site, it really just allows them a little moment to shine beyond their original original context, so I think it's really fantastic. I'm really excited to be launching this and I think it's going to be a quite positive reaction because a lot of the campaigns that we've been running since Covid first hit are campaigns that showcase the Irish LGBT plus community, so it's kind of a lot of people are part of those campaigns and a lot of people are part of, the, of those initiatives, so I think I think it would be a really good reaction and also in a, quite a difficult times it's kind of putting out something that's really positive and a, a positive response to a really difficult time. So I guess I think it, it's going to be a really good uh, reaction from the public in general. Another of the learnings was that developing responsibly is a tricky, tricky thing to do. Instead of building one website, you essentially have to build three, four different websites so that they work perfectly no matter what device size you have. The moment you change one thing for one device size, one screen size, it might have a ripple effect and change something across your entire website. So you really have to be very careful when you make changes. Another couple of things that I learned were how to implement lazy loading, which helps to speed up page speeds, how to implement a custom preloader, some of the parallax image movements, the page load intro that you see for the media page with the Q&A gradient kind of zooming into the camera frame. These are all things that I've never done before, but it's something that I'll be able to take forward into other projects. It's something that I've even incorporated into my own website. So for the portfolio page for Prism, you have a similar effect. Having that knowledge going forward is going to help me to run a successful freelance business. In terms of design, I actually worked on a logo and brand identity for the exhibition, but they really wanted something that was in keeping with the GCN family. I think it's very fair to say that the creative aesthetic was very much driven by Aiden, but we reached a moment where there was a necessary collaboration between Aiden and Dave because actually um, we have a really specific aesthetic that you know gets created when you have a one lead designer and so it was great for Dave and Aiden to be able to tease that out in a way that meant that Prism is its own project but still very much feels like it fits within the family and that it isn't incongruous in its visual language and I thought that Dave and Aiden worked really well to meet in the middle of that design and come up with a logo that felt both distinct from GCN and not a carbon copy but also very much uh, feeling linked into the DNA of, of our organization. Having seen how Dave took that critique and worked with it and made it a part of the GCN family, I believe that I could do the same thing going forward. I think the pandemic has affected the LGBT plus community in many profound ways. It has created a lot more anxiety and stress and um, for a community that already has increased vulnerability around say mental health or addiction issues, obviously all of those areas there's been flare-ups. But the other side and something that we've really seen because of the work we do is that it has encouraged communities to really reconnect in with one another and so uh, even though it is um, has been an incredibly challenging time, I think that people really have 
banded together. Coming into dealing with the COVID-19 lockdown, I've been dealing with workplace related anxiety and stress. Being made redundant ended up alleviating that a lot. One of the reasons that I really wanted to work on PRISM with GCN was because Pride was going to be cancelled essentially or moved online so that Irish LGBT people still had a sense of community and connection to one another. I think that's something that PRISM does help to provide. PRISM offers a really unique opportunity to develop skills, to collaborate with people, to get to use incredible imagery and resources from the Irish Queer Archive and from GCN's archive and to build something that I hope will help people to stay connected and to appreciate all of the incredible work that GCN do.